Good afternoon, welcome to the video and welcome to the foothills of Mount Cotopaxi. Not to be confused with Chimborazo, which we climbed two weeks ago. Cotopaxi is about 200 kilometers north of Chimborazo and we're up in the foothills in a place called Secret Garden Hostel. It's wonderful to be honest and it's an all-inclusive type deal. I'm currently in the gym, that's why I'm slightly out of breath, but I'm here to get you up to date so you can join us for all of the wonderful adventures that we've had here. So as I said, it's all-inclusive and there's lots of activities included as well on top of the food and the drink the first of which as soon as you arrive you're ushered into the main room you get your communal lunch meet the other first day arrivers and then you're rushed off to a waterfall trek it takes about an hour and a half to get to to this freezing cold waterfall fresh running water well you can see what happened for yourself day number one and activity number one at this beautiful secret garden hostel in Cotopaxi is a waterfall trek of unknown duration and unknown distance but it's gonna be fun it's a bit drizzly now but we're gonna get wet anyway so no problems there in the waterproof now let's start the trek it's the first time finding out if there's any holes in the wellies i've survived i wonder if harry will be so lucky any holes mate Oh, I, yeah, I chose style over substance here because they were the only yellow wellies going, so that's for me. We've been going for about 40 minutes now, going very well. It's actually pretty beautiful and we're just traversing up the river the entire time. Probably maybe 15 minutes left based on what he said and then we're in for a beautiful swimming tree, hopefully. Okay, we have made it to our end destination and it is beautiful. It's a double tiered waterfall that we're gonna get in now, get in the trunks. It's gonna be super fresh. <laughs> it's not too warm either, but got to be done. Let's get in. So cold. Oh my God. Absolutely freezing. That's unbelievably cold. Uh, it's cold. This is going to be the coldest water I've ever been in, for sure. Absolutely freezing, even at the ankles. So that is what we got up to yesterday on our first day. And then we bunkered down and had a lovely dinner, chicken burrito -y thing, absolutely delicious. Can't fault the food here at all. Today had so much work to catch up on, caught up on some stuff. I'm getting a workout in now. To my delight, there's a fantastic gym here and the perfect equipment you need for a fully well-rounded pool session. So this is your opportunity. If you're stuck on back and bicep training, today I'm gonna to be hitting biceps, medial delt, rear delt, upper trap, mid trap rhomboids, lats, you name it, spinal erectors even, with some basic cowboy equipment. So I'm gonna run you through the workout now. So if you're confused about what everything's gonna look like and how to do it, don't worry, because I'm gonna show you me doing it straight after this. First, we got four sets of 14 pull-ups in. Then we moved on to this little thing. It's like sand-filled barbell, weighs about 60 kilos, 70 kilos. Did some bent over rows on there, followed by some inverted rows on here. We've also got some neutral grip chin-ups available to us because of those parallel bars. And finally, these dumbbells here are about 20 kilos. So just with one set of dumbbells, depends how strong you are, you can either do bicep curls. I did hinging at the hips, upright row to hit the remainder of the upper trap and the rear delts. And this is what it looks like.
man, that is the workout smashed. Very happy with how that went. Surprisingly good equipment given the situation, very much a backyard setup. But now we have 15 minutes to get a quick jacuzzi session in before you finally get to find out what we're doing tomorrow. You have to elect for your future day's activity at 5 p.m. the previous day. And so that's what we're gonna go in and do in a second. God, you can tell we're at altitude, I'm out of breath. Walking up the stairs, let's get in the jacuzzi. This is Adam's version of a GWRM. All right, we're ready. Always check the pockets before entering any form of water. I've got a good habit of that. Don't know if you're the same. Harry's here, by the way. <laughs> this is the jacuzzi. Pretty nice view. We just heard some thunder cracking again, though. So hopefully that's not a thunderstorm rolling in. And I'm, while I'm in the hot tub, I may as well declare tomorrow's activity. We're going horse riding again. Like a true caballero getting my cowboy on. Oh, that's nice. Those llamas will never fail to make me smile. We had a wonderful sleep actually because you're so surrounded by natural light as opposed to artificial light as soon as it gets dark it gets tiring pretty quick so we're sleeping in these lovely cabanas and dorms between us and every meal is a communal meal last night was pizza night so we all gathered along really long table and were served an endless carousel it's like a sushi bar an endless carousel of pizzas very good atmosphere and obviously a fantastic way to socialize that's the problem when you go to whether it's hotels or hostels you want to be in a place where they force you to, to speak and of course we get this wonderful view to wake up to every morning and heading in now for breakfast before we get on the horses We've made it to the ranch in the National Park. We've got our horses here. It's just a small group, myself, cameraman Mike, and then two others as well. We're gonna have a blast, I'm very excited. Ever since we did it in Cuenca, I've got the bug for horse riding. So these guys are big, big strong boys. Excited to get out on them, get a bit of a canter going. And the scenery is incredible as well. What a beautiful day. Excited? Yes, very much so. What's the name, you know? I guess. Ayasin. 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 Sorry, what's his name? Ayasin. 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 And Malbro over there. This is going to be fun. Mount Cotopaxi in the background over there as well. Bronco's behaving himself. Stop for a little rest at this hut and a very good fashion choice turned out to be a very bad cold weather choice. So Lisa's kindly lent me her slightly too small for me waterproof jacket, but we're making it work. And we've got some tea. And this is? Okay. Banana cake. Banana cake, gracias. And when we're back, the sun decides to come out, so we're nice and warm again. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Perfect. You're two days in a row for you, yeah. so you can't, can't complain. And Better I the second time. It, oh yeah. <laughs> so happy to have you off his back, those rolling around. <laughs> And so now we're heading back to Secret Garden Cotopaxi and we've got about an hour and a half there before we get the shuttle over to Secret Garden Quito and it's my first time in Quito because I transferred directly to Cuenca on the way in so I've got to, a couple of nights to enjoy there and check out the town a bit and enjoy the second Secret Garden hostel. Muchas gracias. You're welcome. <laughs> And we've made it over to Quito after that fantastic few days in Cotopaxi. 100% worth combining the two if you do end up on a trip like this because you've got Secret Garden in Cotopaxi and then Secret Garden in Quito. So we spent last night at the incredible rooftop, got more food than we needed and more drinks than we needed, overlooking their incredible skyline view of the city. One of the things you can see actually is this cathedral behind me now. And then today, chilling as well before the adventures continue in the Galapagos tomorrow, which I'm super excited for and just taking a little walk around the city now, exploring the cathedral, the city in general, the colonial architecture, and then we're gonna go and hit a gym session very soon after this as well. And that's the end, not the end of Ecuador, but the end of Quito. Just had a nice afternoon strolling around the entire city, and I bought some, not Lycra, yeah, Lycra, Lycra shorts for my next challenge. So you'll have to guess what that next challenge is, because I'm not telling you yet, but it is gonna be intense. As you know, the next video is in the Galapagos, and that is our final part of the Ecuador series. Thank you very much for being here and for watching. 
And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, you want me to say that? Yeah. Oh, I have to. Like and subscribe. No, say it with conviction and Please look Please like and subscribe. Adam Radcliffe at YouTube, Dot Instagram, com. Facebook. <laughs>